sentencing will continue of young, mostly Muslim men between 18 and 25 who protested against the Israeli offensive in Gaza about one year ago. Now those people, they are being sentenced for public order offences, violent disorder, one of the most serious public order offences. And in a repeat of what happened during the Bradford riots, which was against the rise of the far right, the people are being punished for protesting against the Israeli offensive and also for resisting police provocation on those days. They threw placards. They threw placards, they did lots of things. But is any of it warranted? Should any of them have gone to jail? There were 73 people charged with violent disorder. Only two of them, only two of them are non-Muslim, as I've seen so far, who've gone through the Crown Court. Only two of them were non-white. Many of them, well virtually all of them, are on their first offence. They have previous good character. But all of them made a plea with the court and with the police. They pleaded guilty and then said the, the partial truth. And they said, look, the police, you started it. And the police went, yeah, we started it. That's great. Thanks. We'll note that down in your interview. Thank you very much. You can go to jail now. If they'd have pleaded not guilty, they would have got off. Because the people of this country know the police provoke people. The people of this country know that it's a political act against them. And the reason why we know this is because everyone that's pleaded not guilty has not been sent to jail and not been found guilty. We all agree. So, anyone who thinks that this is just people crying about some Muslims going down when they deserve it, doesn't really understand what's going on here. When the Crown Prosecution Service and the police before them have the power to use the terrorism acts in unrelated incidents, to arrest people in dawn raids and handcuff all their family members, seize all their property months after by looking at video, thousands of hours of video footage and then don't factor in the fact that these people were protesting against war crimes but moreover were deliberately provoked by the police and they were assaulted by the police. And don't factor in the fact that there are hundreds of civil claims going on in the courts against the police for those days. Then that's injustice. Now you can think what you want, but we have you to go onto the website www.gazademosupport.org.uk and find out further information. And come to a further trial where no doubt the person who's pleaded not guilty on Monday will be found not guilty and the police once again will be found to have withheld evidence which will have undermined their prosecution. The police again will be found to have assaulted people. The police again will be found to be fa fabricated evidence. If you've read The Guardian recently, if you've read any decent newspaper, you will have found out that this is not all hearsay. This is the truth. The police have constructed all this. They have orchestrated attacks on those people and and they have then arrested them in, a, in an agenda which is akin to the war on tenor. So I say to you, free the Gaza protesters, free Palestine! Yeah. Yeah. So join us on Monday morning at 10.30am at Isleworth Crown Court near Osterley Tube Station. And if you want to know how much of an effect you can have, I've personally been communicating with the judge on behalf of the monitoring groups that are attending and he's saying he's being very moved by us he doesn't know he doesn't know what to do he's saying now that he has to factor in the public attention he's saying now that um, he acknowledges that we're here and he acknowledges the public interest in these cases so let's show him that there's not just a public interest in the cases there's a public interest in quashing every single charge and quashing every single conviction and ending this nonsense yeah. Yeah.